Hey guys, welcome to question FM222. This question reads, a cafe sells three types of breakfasts, English, omelette, and pancakes. Pancakes, uh, each represented by E, O, and P. The regular customers buy one type of breakfast each per day and choose the type of breakfast they buy according to the following transition matrix, T. And then we're given this transition matrix. Now I've left off the labels, uh, but you guys will have them there in your books. On a particular day, 39 customers chose the English breakfast, 18 chose omelettes, and 23 chose pancakes. If these same customers continue to buy one breakfast each per day, the number of these customers who are expected to buy each of the three types of breakfasts in the long term is what? Uh, now, you would have seen a couple of these questions pop up in the book so far. Uh, so you might know by now that in order to get into the long term or the steady state, um, we're going to take our transition matrix up to a high power. Now I choose 1000, there's no reason for that, it's just an old habit. And then we're going to multiply that by a, uh, a state matrix. So we're told that 39 choose an English bre breakfast on this day, uh, 18 choose omelettes, and 23 choose pancakes. Now it's not important that these numbers are exactly where they are, so the 39, the 18, and the 23. What's important is that they come to the same total. Um, if you want a little bit more of an explanation on that, just drop that in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll continue the question here. Popping this into your calculator, you should get a an, well, I say an answer of 28, 20, and 32. So we've got 28 for the English breakfast, 20 for the omelettes, and 32 for the pancakes. This means the answer to our question is option A. If you guys have any questions about that, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.